Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beauty. So today we're watching Full Metal Alchemist. So today we're jumping back into Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Season 1, Episode 11, The Miracle at Rush Valley. Let's get it going. Let's do it. Oh, oh man, oh. Lust fucked him up. The military knows little of his killers beyond the fact that they bore mysterious Ouroboros tattoos. Colonel Mustang began asking questions of his own. He learned of a possible conspiracy at the senior level of military mm. command, which only redoubled his resolve to be promoted to Central. Ed and Al continued their journey southward with Winry in tow, unaware of the death of Lieutenant Colonel Hughes. Poor That's sick. He's so excited. The Winter Soldier arm. Welcome to the Holy Land of Auto Mail. This place oh, is awesome. the black. That's sick. Me why we let ourselves get dragged out into this heat to look at a bunch of auto mail? I've never seen an auto mail model quite like this before. It really is unusual. Look. Everyone, take a look. Hey, hold on a second. I'm getting on a personal space. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. What are you talking about this weekend? Think you got this Babe. Jeez. Yo. They stole something. It's gone. You need to give it to Silver Watch. Gone. <laughs> it sounds like you guys had a run in with Panini. I saw her in the crowd. All right, the little yeah. alright. This guy has the Kano eye. You didn't see it from the front. No. Ah, and we'll tell you where she is. The auto mail shop run by an <laughs> Apparently, oh this my guy God. leaves Steve in the mountains because he can find the highest quality ore way out here. Are you Makes absolutely wow. sure we're going in the right direction? This is all your fault for dragging us that stupid automail down in the first place. My fault? You're the one who was dumb enough to let his watch get stolen! Um, hey, you guys. What, what out? Could that be her? Huh? Here she goes. <gasps> wow! That is sick! Do that, mister. I'm an alchemist. One more. Oh. Can't catch a little girl. Wow. Fine, okay. I've been waiting for you. Why don't you hand it over? My watch. <gasps> Shit. What? She has an automatic leg. Come on, you can't be too. Oh. You've seen the town and. Oh! oh and what do you think of that? What the oh, hell? No What's her face? You didn't catch her, Winry. I knew it. Well, now, how do you like that? Don't let her get away. She wants to see the name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, there, Panina. He kind of looks like Mace Hughes. No, really? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Dominic. That's what I was waiting for, Dominic. Okay, yeah, he looks like Nabito's in it. This arm seems a bit heavy. That could be the reason why his growth is stuck. <gasps> hey, shut up! <laughs> Wait, are you telling me if my auto mail was lighter, I'd grow taller than this? Whoa, brother, you're so big! Wow! So <laughs> Next to me, you really <laughs> sure look small. <laughs> I beg you, make me your apprentice. Wow. Not a chance, girl. Wow. Maybe you'd like more time to consider the idea. Literally. No need. Shut it. Take on apprentices. <laughs> but some of them fucking animation as well. My old man can be pretty stubborn. My old man. A little flea. Call me a flea. Excuse me, but are you having a baby? Why, yes, I am. Do you think, would it be all right if I touched your tummy? <laughs> Go right ahead. Whoa. It's like there's a miracle in your stomach. Yeah. We were inside mom's tummy like this once upon a time, too. Oh. Are you okay? I yes. Baby's coming. The baby's doing alchemy. Whenever it pours down like this, my stumps always get achy. If you don't mind me asking, what happened? I was in a train accident when I was a kid. It killed my parents. Oh. 
I wound up losing both my legs in the wreck. Jeez. I couldn't even walk anymore. That's when I met Mr. Dominic. <laughs> Everything changed completely. Aww. She was just sliding around town, bro. Apparently. You look like the most miserable, pathetic girl in the entire world. Oh my. Nothing to know Sounds like Mr. Dominic. Like you. Let me go, you mean old man. Okay. The surgery and rehabilitation were painful. By far the hardest thing I've ever done. Harder than losing your parents? Soon enough, I was back up on two legs and I was so happy. I'm going to pay why him back so somehow, nice. even if it takes me my whole life. That's why you're a thief? Ooh. You're so grateful to him. You should clean up your act and stop picking pockets. Wow. Do something good with them legs. Instead right. of stealing trinkets from hapless tourists, stand strong on those two legs that he made for you. When are we looking like Captain Marvel right now? Nah. Mr. Dominic would respect you more for doing that than for stealing. Hmm. Truth. True, true, true. From now on, I'll work honestly to pay him back myself. Hmm. So, I should probably give this thing back. I thought she was going to sell it back to her. Can't get it to open. Let me see. No, don't worry. It wasn't you. It's been sealed up using alchemy. Why would he do that? Something's in here. He's too embarrassed to let anyone see. Oh, a picture of their mom. mom. Don't forget October 3rd. Year 11. So there Here, is mom. You should give this back to Ed. I'm going to ask Mr. Dominic to apprentice me again. <laughs> the... The bay... Hey, the bay is a type of horse. What about it? The, the baby's coming! The baby's the coming. coming! We can't get her to the hospital in town. I'll fetch the doctor myself. I thought he was running. I was like, what? Yo. I'm right back with the doctor. What's the matter, hon? Huh? I said it's coming. Uh, sorry, one more time? I said it's coming! <laughs> uh, the doctor's not here! Upstairs, if I ever did see one. We're just going to have to do it! <laughs> Freaking so, everybody out. So you've seen a baby being delivered before? I haven't, but we don't have any other options here. You and ready now, for a delivery? Some boiling water. Right. Sure, Winry. Anemia, go find some towels and hurry! Oh. Uh, Roger! Mr. Riedel, do you have any rubbing alcohol? Oh, and some ice chips. We'll put them by Miss Atera's bedside. Hmm. Are we sure your friend can handle this? Oh, only one way to find out. Winry comes from a family of doctors. She oh, grew up cool. reading medical textbooks. It's clear that she at least vaguely remembers some of it. Vaguely, vaguely. remembers now, the only some of it. We have is to defer to her knowledge and the sheer force of her nerve. Boiling water, disinfectant, towels. Winry, you, you can, can do, do this. this. You got this, girl. Panina. Give me a hand in here. And get it out of my pocket. <laughs> what <that? laughs> I know we're not big believers in God. Maybe he could help us. The only way to keep showing this guy is like I maybe feel like something's gonna happening. Happen. Came back with all right. That baby's oh, born. That blood. What's going on? Hey. The baby's born. Wow. They did. I didn't hear the baby crying, so I got worried. That's it, exactly. Nice. Awesome. It's a real life baby. Awesome. 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 Wow. awesome. Alchemists have worked for centuries and we're still not able to do that. A person creating another person. You've got to be kidding me. Now you're lumping in alchemy with the miracle of birth? Whatever you say, it really is awesome. It People really are is. awesome. <laughs> All right, the baby's born and everything's good. Do you think you could pick me up, please? It's humiliating to be carried by a boy who's smaller than I am. <laughs> could easily drop you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. The engraving that's inside your pocket watch. It's okay. You idiot. Yeah. I haven't shown that to anybody, not even Al. I hate to admit how weak I am, but I had to give what happened that day substance and then carry it around with me as a reminder. 
What are you crying for? Yeah, because he used that thing. Ugh. What are you crying for, Wiri? <laughs> You always ask her that. You always ask her. Someone else should do it for you, don't you think? We should get back to Rizimbu. We've been gone a long time. Granny must Granny. be lonesome without you. Seeing your resolve inspired me. I want to do more, Ed. Hmm. I can't just commit halfway. She's wow. gonna stay on. Do anything. I want to hone my skills so I'll be able to make you the finest quality She's gonna Stay prospects. in Rush Valley. That way you can continue your journey knowing you're as strong as you can be. I'll ask Mr. Dominic to make me his apprentice. Okay. After what you did, man, he may owe you. Winry, Mr. Riedel said he wanted to talk to you. I'll be right there, okay? Panina. Hmm? <laughs> Give me my watch back right now! <laughs> <laughs> this girl. There. I'm your granddad. It seems like the delivery was handled expertly. Well wow. done. Sometimes even adults can't take being present at childbirth. Wow. Oh no, we did what we had to. That's all. Thank you. Oh my goodness, now you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> Maybe you could make an exception and take on an apprentice. With the fan. With the fan. <laughs> to do with the other, I can recommend you to an accomplished engineer at the base of the mountain. That's not a bad idea. Would it be okay if I came by and watched you work sometimes? I won't stop you from coming once in a while to see my grandchild. Same goes for the tomboy. Ah! Uh, we gotta hurry. Scar. If we miss this train, there's not another one for three days. Shit. Now you two be careful. <laughs> you too, Winry. <laughs> Make sure to steal that old man's technique so you'll have something even better for me the next time I see you, okay? Help me go, Tyler. It looks like they're gonna be a sick team together. They'll be back. She seems so sure. Yeah. Um, Maybe she unscrewed another screw. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They'll be back. They'll be uh, back. Because of this. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh Aww. man. Why are that you was crying? a great story. Wow, because she know you guys don't cry, so I have to cry for you. That was that was really touching the way she, she was... explained that. And the thing is, when they flash back to their house burning down, I wasn't sure about it because they had old Winry crying in the clip and then they went back exactly. to the young Exactly, that's you know why I was saying? like, oh shit. Man, this is a good, great show, man. And like, that was like, to see a whole town full of like, prosthetics oh, yeah. and like... That was pretty cool. That was got, crazy. The guy with the bionic eye and everyone got, got the limb. And then another dude had the 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 black metal, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Even more sleek looking. That was crazy. Nah, that was it. That was really good. I liked I like the way they set it up. I loved I love how it's like a, a place where all the engineers are. So like now Winry, especially with like the resolve that she showed in something she didn't know, imagine how much she's gonna put into something that she actually wants to do and is already knowledgeable on. She's exactly. gonna be she's gonna be the best engineer in town just now. And then that girl, like, she can try it out on that girl's legs because they're already, like, kind of more advanced than the ones that she created. So, she, is she going to create her ones that, like, make her jump, like, 50 feet? And, babe. That'd be crazy. That shit could be wild. The brothers arrive in Dublin to visit their old teacher. While there, they remember the time they spent in training as young boys. Next time on Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, one is all, all is one. Afraid of the possible consequences, the Elric brothers are hesitant to speak. Oh my wow. god. How do you go back to the woman that taught you the rules and tell you you broke every single one of them? Every single one of them. Like, oh man. And I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like just because of the way the story works that the teachers probably, probably committed some kind of sin as well. And she's like, the reason I told you, or he's like, the reason I told you is because I know what it's like. And exactly. then he shows that he lost, then like, you get insane, a backstory. like, uh, this show is incredible so far, man. I really like that. Yeah. And it was interesting that I wanted to touch the, like, the baby. Uh, yeah, right. But the thing is, it was the, you know what I'm saying? Like, they say when you can't, just when, when science can't explain something, 
uh, something unexplainable by science is defined as magic. You know okay. what I'm saying? So alchemy, which is well, def uh, which is a well-defined science in this show, like they're all about creating. You know what I'm saying? So to create the ultimate miracle, and for them to see it so plainly, you know what I'm saying? They they studied for years. They did all of this. They did all this work, all this practice, all this theory, and for them to come up short on what people take as almost normal. You know what I'm saying? Creating that that miracle, and them sitting there and experiencing that, especially after all the fights they've been through with the with the freezer alchemists, with Scar, with you know what I'm saying? Like they've seen so many things that are abnormal to us, and what's normal to us was abnormal to them. Right? You know what I'm saying? That was that was really that was really yeah, that like was a really nice episode. Yeah, the way they the way they put that together. And it was all about Winry's level up, which was which is great, which means she's going to be like an integral to the rest of the story, which I already thought she kind of was, being that she was literally present in spirit every time they show every up. Every time his... You know, the, the, the armored suit. Well, not the armored suit. The armored suit was in the back of the room, so I don't know if it was her who built that. But the auto mail, you know what I'm saying? That was, uh, man, that was a beautiful episode. And plus the fact that she leveled up with a girl who was already... Who's already on that kind of level? She doesn't have alchemy, but like even when she was present in the cage, like she broke out so easily, she fired off the cannon. They couldn't catch her. Like she, as a girl who's just like her, you know what I'm saying? All right. Now, what now? When we buy her size, she's gonna use her pickpocketing for good. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Like, <laughs> so like Robin Hood. The Robin Hood situation. <laughs> give, uh, yeah. Take from the rich, the rich and give to the needy. And give to the poor boy. Oh man, that's it. That's what this episode kind of felt like. You know mm. what I'm saying? They took from their rich, abundant story and just help fit in, fit in, uh, help feed into Winry so she can level up like the rest of the alchemists. You know what I'm saying? So wow. I'm looking forward to us getting back to her. So just like Ed and Al, we are on the train to the next stop. So thank you all for joining us for this latest episode of Old Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in the comments. And be sure to go over to our Patreon and check out the full-length, uncut reaction for Simply to support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Drake. For Beauty and the Beer, we are signing off until next one. Peace.